KFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And, uh, well, we've got a mixed bag now. You've got the Dow's off 80 to 8. The S&P is down 11. The Nasdaq's off 25. The Russell has just turned slightly green. The semis are up two points. That's slightly green. The trannies are up 62 points out here. So, you know, what I like to do, and I'm going to do it, but the data is not accurate. I'm having some type of problem here with my data feed, uh, folks, and uh, I just noticed it. Um, and I can't fix it in this next uh, uh, minute and a half. But we're looking at the Dow. The th so the Dow is not printed at 34,764. It's at 34,723, but close enough. What I want to share with you is we are going, we have a confirmed TD9 count bottom inside the Dow. When you get a TD9 count bottom, what you should expect and anticipate is price is going to go target its oscillator and change line. So the Dow should go target the 35,018 area. If the Dow closes above that, it doesn't have to be today, folks. If the Dow closes above that, then that suggests run back to 35,475. That's a TD9 breakdown level. The S&P 500, it's actually trading at 44.69. It's pretty close to what this uh, bar shows, but you're not seeing any data feeds update update here on the uh, on these indices charts. So again, I don't know what's going on. But what I do know is that the S&P 500 has tested and rejected its breakout level of 44.5029. You can't bust them down. What's it going to try to do? It should try to bust them up. Bust them up to where? The oscillator and change line is a likely target, 45.10. The NDX 100, I don't have any kind of bottoming signal whatsoever out here. So it's on its own. I don't with the Russell 2000. Uh, the semis, they're still uh, bullish out here. Um, the transports, 14,491. They're actually trading out at 14,482. So you can see price in the transports is running resistance at its oscillator and change line. It's these oscillator and change line levels, folks, that price needs to close above to then signal that uh, this may be more than just a uh, counter trend rally. Until then, that's really what all these signals are. Um, let's uh, change from here. We've just got a few seconds. I'll just simply move over to my uh, screen that's got the uh, nine panel market updates on it so you can see that this here is going to be live and accurate. Uh, what additional information do we have here? Not really a whole heck of a lot. Silver's held, held support. The dollar's held resistance. And gold... It's kind of in the middle of us. It's, it's kind of in La La Land. Hey, folks, stay tuned. David White's up next. He's got a uh, host, a uh, guest host, a guest today of Tim Ord at about 2.15. Have a terrific Thursday. We'll see you tomorrow morning.